In this video, I'm going to show you how you can blacklist any potential customers that may be giving you problems or trying to steal your particular products that you list on JVZoo. Now, this tends to happen from time to time where you have people who buy products only so they can get access to them and then immediately request a refund or do a PayPal dispute so that they can get the product for free without paying. So let me show you how that works within JVZoo. You want to go up to the My Account tab, go to Customer Filtering, and on this page, you'll see a number of filtering options that you can use within JVZoo. Now, you can choose to put in a blacklist redirect URL, meaning that any person that's blacklisted that tries to access your product is going to be sent to a particular URL. So to do that, you only need to click on configure now, put that URL in there and then go ahead and click save. OK, let's go back. So you also have the peer network blacklist where JVZoo basically crowdsourced the blacklisting by including the email blacklist of other JVZoo vendors. So if we click on configure now for that option, we can activate that. And now pretty much any blacklisting that's happening with other vendors within JVZoo can also happen for you as well. This is a way to make sure that you can stay protected, even if you haven't experienced a particular issue with, say, a underhanded customer or something like that. Now, you can also choose to blacklist any email that's been banned a certain number of times. So you can choose three or four or two, but we recommend the threshold from three to five. OK, so once you have your threshold set, you want to go ahead and click on save. OK, and now you're good to go. Let's go back and let's take a look at some of the other options. So right here, we can choose to personally blacklist any email that may be associated with underhanded activity when it comes to our products. To do that, we would want to click on add emails and then put each email in here, either separated by comma or one email per line. Once we've done that, we want to go ahead and click on save emails to blacklist and then we're good to go. We can also take a look at emails that we've blacklisted by using this option here. And once we've done that, we can do a search for all time or a custom time period as well. OK, once we've done that, we can just go ahead and click on search and those emails will come up. If we want to remove those, we can go ahead and click on the red X next to them and then click on proceed just like that. OK, let's go back and let's take a look at the other options. We can also choose to blacklist by a certain country. So if we don't want to have customers, say, from a country that may have a lot of hacker activity or something like that, we can click on configure now and we can come in and choose a country as well. OK, so just for example, let's say if we were going to choose Canada, if we didn't want Canadians, which is this is just for the sake of this video. We're not I'm not saying that Canadian people are bad. OK, as you can see, we've selected it. So it's up there. And then all we would need to do is click on save changes. But if we want to remove that, we can also click the red X next to it just like that and then click on save changes. Well, that's how the blacklisting option works within the JVZoo platform. Take care.